Hey guys, I um, I was running it and uh, it just wasn't running as good as it can because the intake valve was actually um, staying on for a little bit longer and so what happened was when I was on its fullest downstroke the intake valve was still open a little bit when it was coming up so it in fact it was pushing it down so it was stopping a lot of that momentum from coming up um, so what I did was I ground, ground the cam down um, a little bit on the exhaust and the uh, intake and um, when I was on its downstroke, like the valves are on its downstroke, to just shorten it a bit. So now, this is top down setter. So now when I, you can see this valve, Starts to open, and the piston is just going down. And that's the max that valve opens. And then it starts to go down. Piston's going down. The valve starts to close. Piston still going down, and the valve is then fully shut, just as it's on bottom dead center. Then the piston starts to come up again, which is now the exhaust port opens. Sorry, the um, side cover isn't on, so it's a bit hard to turn over. The exhaust port opens when it's just at just after top dead center. The exhaust port closes, and the intake valve opens, and the whole cycle starts over. So yeah, that's the operation of the air engine. I removed the magneto because it's just added, um, it's just added, you know, the magnet, when it gets to the magnet part, it'll be pulling it, and it's just stopping the, the, um, momentum. Um, this little thing, that fitting, is welded inside. I tried to use plumber's tape and screw it in, but, um, uh, it kept on undoing because, it's like, it's got 120 psi pressure inside that tiny little valve bit um so yeah i welded that in there and then i put five gaskets on in between here because it was not sealing properly i don't have an exhaust on there just to just to keep the flow going otherwise i tried to put a muffler on there and it just doesn't work um and yeah that's just the, the standard timing of this is totally you know not it's not like that anymore because I made my own cam so I ground ground off all the lobes and started over because I didn't want to I didn't want to just grind off one of them and then make another three because then I couldn't get them spot onto the other one whereas if I made all my own lobes they'll be all the same so yeah that's what I did that so now I'm just gonna make a new crankcase cover because the old one was pretty crappy this is parts of the old one. You can see it's all fallen to bits. I made this with a Milo cereal container. And it's been on there for a long time. So I'll make another one uh, tomorrow. Or it's Aussie A tomorrow, so maybe not tomorrow. Uh, I'll make another one next couple of days. Whack that back on, whack the head back on. And then hopefully she goes really nice. Uh, I have no doubt. It should go spot on. So yeah, there's the air engine. See you guys later.